Range fans, Reloaders Network, and Rimfire Central. That's right. I got this Christensen Arms 22 long rifle out on the 50-yard line. So you see here some LAX ammo, and we'll roll in some B-roll footage to show you what I've done, but there's a lot of conversation around LAX ammo. I was lucky uh, to be able to get some locally, and uh, I will tell you that uh, many are saying because it's made in Mexico that it is the same as a Gila. Well, you know me, I wanna prove it and see if it is the same. So what I did is I took some measurements first and foremost. So a Gila, the specifications are 1,025 feet per second. It is a 40 grain pill sitting on top, but the overall length of the Aguila is 0.975. You'll see also from a powder perspective that it comes in at 1.8 grains of powder underneath that 40 grain pill. The lead I noticed was a lot softer as I was pulling it out of the case. It's a lot softer than the LAX ammo lead. So we already know that it's very different than the Aguila. So fellas, shooters, reloaders, it's not the same ammo, but just in case I got it all wrong, we're gonna put it across the chronograph and then we're gonna put it down on target and see what it does. Also, the powder for the Aguila was a darker flake. It looks like a flake based powder. It was a tad bit darker. And of course, on the 22 long rifle uh, cartridge itself, the head is stamped with an A, of course, for Aguila. The one thing I did notice is no specifications on the box at all. On the packaging, no specifications. Though they both did come with the same plastic cases. Let's move over to the LAX ammo now at this point. The LAX ammo is a 40 grain pill, 1,050 feet per second. Printed right on the box, right? So all the specifications for the round on the box. So the packaging for me, around the LAX ammo is a lot better um, than the Aguila. Big, big difference here. The lead pill is much harder and not crimped well at all. You can literally take your fingers and spin the lead pill around in the 22 cartridge case. Many of us know that that usually leads to not so accurate, but we're gonna put it on range and see how it does. Also, the overall length is 0.990. It has 1.7 grains of powder, shiny ball-like powder, kind of mimics H110 a little bit. Folks, I'm not saying it's H110. That's what it looks like. Uh, the lead is most definitely harder. Also, the head stamp on the cartridge or on the case itself is stamped LAX. And again, they both came loaded in the same plastic cases. And also, again, the specifications on the box for the LAX just right away tells you uh, a lot more than the Aguila. Uh, the Aguila crimp is really crimped very tight. I had a difficult time removing the lead pill out of it. And there you have it. There's a little bit of paper comparison between the LAX brand new on the market, LAX 22 long rifle ammunition against the Aguila. Now, we're gonna take some footage of putting it across the chronograph, then we're gonna put it on target and see what we can do. Let's get to it. All right, we got nine rounds of the Aguila and the old Christensen Arms. We're gonna get that across the chronograph, then we're gonna put nine rounds of the LAX ammo across the chronograph, compare the numbers back at home, and then we'll put five rounds each on target and see, I believe the real difference is going to be the crimp. Uh, the crimp is really loose on the LAX ammo, very, very tight on the Aguila. Aguila is known for medium quality ammunition that prints really well on target, and we'll see if it holds up to, the ne to that name in the old Christensen Arms. Nine rounds, here we go. Yep, 1172 on the first shot. So now we're just gonna put them down range and you'll be able to see the chronograph in your top right corner.
Last round. There you have it. Nine rounds. All right. We're going to make sure this thing is safe. We're going to go down range and look through the numbers. 1168. 1168. 1147. 1160. 1126. 1142. 1146. 1137, 1135, 1172, the high is 1172, the low is 1126, the average is 1148, extreme spread of 46, pretty decent for 22, and standard deviation of 15. I like it. Let's clear this string and move on to the LAX. All right, folks. Now we got the LAX 40 grain supposedly cooking along at 1100 or 1050 feet per second. Let's see what the chronograph tells us. Brand new LAX ammo on the market. 1129 first shot. 9. Let's take a look and see what the chronograph tells us. This is the LAX ammunition 1092, 1105, 1118, 1070, 1102, 1094, 1089, 1095, 1129, not as consistent as the Aguila. 1129 is the high. 1070 is the low, big gap there. Average was 1099. Extreme spread of 59. Standard deviation of 17. All right, let's get hella accurate and put some rounds on target. All right, here we go. I've got 10 rounds of LAX brand new ammunition. We're going to shoot five on the spotters and then five for group. Every time, every time I get out of that rabbit hole, you get something like this that comes along, kind of pushes me back down. And uh, for the gentleman that said he was going to send me some SK long range, I happened to pick some of that up. Man, you guys aren't going to keep me in this rabbit hole. I'm coming out one way or another, and when I come out, it's going to be with some massive firepower. We're coming out with a bang, almost like 4th of July, if you will. All right. 14 power. Parallax is set for 100. Make sure if I move my eye, my reticle's not moving. Make sure I have the parallax set right. Here we have it. Five rounds for spotters. LAX ammunition out of the Christensen Arms Ranger 22. Vertical stringing. All 
right, that's five. Don't like the group, but it's five. Now let's go five for official target or official score. I don't like to muscle my rifle. I want it just to lay the crosshairs right there. Last five of LAX ammo, folks. First, I believe this is the first video of LAX ammo to come to you live from the range and also on the loser tube. I say that because they're not too 2 a friendly. Ah. Oh. Man oh man, this thing doesn't like the LAX. Or LAX doesn't like it. There you have it. There's the official target of the LAX ammunition. Not the greatest I've seen. And uh, that bothers me a little bit. And you guys know, you follow me on this journey with Christensen Arms and this Ranger 22 rifle. And uh, it hasn't, honestly, you get it here honest on dayattherange.com. It hasn't grouped all that well, especially for the name brand of a Christensen. I'm hoping I can shoot this thing in. We'll see. We're going to go 10 rounds of a Gila, 40 grain. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put five rounds on spotter and five rounds for official score. The one thing I did notice about the LAX ammunition and the Aguila, the LAX ammunition, definitely not a Gila because a Gila, though a little lube, on the Aguila, um, it more seems like wax, where LAX seems more like an oily lube, uh, more so than wax. But here we go, Aguila. One thing I do notice, that a Gila ammunition has that sweet smell to it. All right, we're gonna go five, dead center. See how it compares to LAX. Whoa, look at that way off to the left. That wasn't me either, folks.
Well, there you have it. I'm not sure which group. They both shoot about the same. Again, I thought the crimp would make a much bigger difference out of the Aguila ammunition. Well, there you have it. LAX ammunition, Aguila 22 long rifle. Is it the same ammunition because it's made in Mexico? Definitely not. Might be made on the same line, but different powder, different crimp, definitely not the same ammunition. Mr. Revolver Guy, hope you enjoyed the video. Signing out.